Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Prince Andrew could look after the Queen's beloved dogs after the 96-year-old monarch passed away at her residence in Balmoral yesterday, a report has claimed. The firm has long come up with contingency plans on how to respond to the death of Queen Elizabeth U. However, little is known about whether anyone detailed a plan to house the late monarch's beloved four-legged friends after she passed. Her Majesty, 96, died yesterday as senior members of the royal family rushed to Balmoral to be by the Queen's side. Throughout her 70-year reign, the Queen has long been associated with her iconic pet dogs. She was even joined by her Dorja Candy at Windsor Castle in February. According to Newsweek, it is believed the Queen had about five dogs, including two Corgis named Muick and Sandy, a Dorji called Candy, and two Cocker Spaniels. However, a royal expert has claimed the Duke of York could be set to take in the Queen's pooches. Biographer Ingrid Seward said, I imagine the dogs would be looked after by the family, probably Andrew, as he's the one that gave them to her, they're quite young, the Corgi and the Dorji. And Seward also pointed out just how important dogs were to the Queen. She said, she loves animals, and she absolutely adores dogs. She always has done, they were her first love, and they will be her last. Author Penny Junior suggested a different situation in which the Queen's staff take on the dogs. She said, care of the dogs has fallen sometimes to footmen, but mostly to the Queen's trusted dressmaker, assistant and right-hand woman, Angela Kelly, and to her equally trusted page of many years standing, Paul Wybrew, who was seen walking with the Queen and the dogs in the James Bond spoof. Enns Junior added, both are fond of the dogs, have unfettered access to the Queen, and are said to be very close to her. Her Majesty's love for Corgis started back in 1944 when she was gifted Susan for her 18th birthday. Susan was later Elizabeth's companion when she married the Duke of Edinburgh in 1947, and the princess reportedly loved Susan so much that she sneaked the pooch into the carriage with her after her wedding on the way to Hampshire. Since her ascension to the throne in 1952, the queen owned more than 30 corgis and other pets, including different breeds of dogs and horses. So what do you think, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more interesting news about royal family. Thank you.